Hey everybody, Dirty Dan here from Greasy Boy Customs. Today we're going to be talking about Eastwood's Rust Encapsulator. You have to forgive the appearance of the can. I might have dropped it. But as you can see, it's not leaking, so good can. This is the gallon size can. This will go a long way. But if you don't need this much, you can get it in a smaller container. And they also offer it in an aerosol, which is really cool. I want to try that out. We're going to try it out on severe rust, light surface rust, clean metal that's been sandblasted, and then some uneven surfaces like this cross member and some new steel. Now you can brush it on, you can roll it on, or you can spray it on. We're going to be brushing and rolling because I figure that's what most people have for their setups in their home or shops. So we're going to get started with that. Now this is something I have never tried with this product and that's rolling it on. So we've got this back wall right here on this 31 Ford truck and we're just gonna pretend like we're painting our house. It's pretty impressive. Now I only dipped my roller in there one time and was able to do this whole area. If you're doing a large project, great to be able to use a roller or you can get a little small roller and you can do small areas i'm i'm thinking about actually covering my car trailer with it because it looks like crap next victim 72 ford truck frame we're going to clean this section apply it see how it goes Well, there you go. We got the pieces. We've been letting them dry for a little bit. They're almost dry. They're still a little tacky. It's been about 30 minutes. They're almost dry to the touch. Some of the drum is already dry to the touch. I love the way it makes the drums look. I might have got carried away and used the rest that was left in that tray on the, the back of the wall of the cab here. Turned out really great. Also, remember how I said that, you know, I might do my whole car trailer with it? Well, I had to try it out. Yeah, look at that. Doesn't that look way better? That was just a light coat. We'll go back and do some more. And this old rusty frame that was super pitted, look how nice that turned out. Just soaked right in there into all the cracks and crevices. The Ford truck frame, look at that, dry to the touch. Turned out great. I think we're gonna do the whole frame with that. Now I already knew that I was gonna be impressed with this product because I've used it before. It dries quick, it's easy to handle, it's easy to use, and it's not very expensive. That gallon should last you a long time. You should be able to do several projects with that gallon. And even if you get the smaller can, I did an entire floor pan in a car and two or three pieces of a frame rail with that smaller can. So super impressed. Go to Eastwood, check them out. Thank you Eastwood for letting me try this out for everybody. And until next time, happy hot rodding.